Hello! Oh my god, we're back. We're back at it again. It'll only be like a few days for the people watching this, but it has been like three months since we recorded Halo. It has been 20 years mm-hmm. since Halo. Um, Graham's son came back to life and visited us in mm-hmm. our sleep and told us we needed to come back to our work. Mm-hmm. And then I killed him, put him in his second grave. <laughs> And we have we have been reading your comments that you have not been leaving. We have been listening hard to our past mistakes, and we 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 it is time for our YouTuber apology video. Yeah. It's so early in our career, we are we are the we are going to break the world record for the earliest apology video in the history of YouTube. We apologize for nine straight episodes of just talking about Marvel movies and the dreaded AE, which if we mention. I think we have like people in the next room over that are gonna come in and Avengers and end game. No, no, no! Yeah, open up! So right. that is why we are going to pivot to talking about what we should be talking about, which is speculating about the final season of Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Walt is not gonna survive. But mm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Alright. Look, okay, okay, so real talk. This level right here, like, I'm really excited for you to see this level. It has some things you're not going to expect in it. Like rain. This is the first time there's been rain in this game. It's yeah. not just a nice sky area. Yeah, I've also spent the past two months unendingly um, improving my Halo skills, which is why everything just looks so much easier now. Look, <laughs> I actually set the game on easy. <laughs> Chris, uh... Mick, edit out uh, the fact that we're playing this on easy. Okay, okay. Uh, Graham's a bitch. We're playing the game on easy so we can actually finish in a yeah, year. Yeah, because um, it was not supposed to be this long. It was. <laughs> we were not supposed to be trapped in the existential nightmare that is Halo Combat Evolved. Graham, <laughs> it's not easy and he can't fucking do it. Well, okay, this is, easy doesn't change how easy it is for you to navigate a level, okay? That's an oversight. That's yeah. a big oversight on their part. Um, um, you know what? I like games with one difficulty setting. Like Dark Souls. Like, this is how the game's going to be played. And you can make it easier for yourself by doing stuff that makes it easier, or you can choose to make it harder for yourself. But, you know, it, the, the easy mode is, ju- is just a calculation about how much damage the enemies do, how easy it is to kill them. It's not true difficulty. Yeah. Um, what else were you going to talk about? Avengers Endgame. No! Stop! Uh, yeah, um, can can we we just talk a bit more about, so, we're recording this after watching ourselves play play Halo, and I'll tell you this, I was not expecting over the summer for the universe to just show me how unoriginal I am. I mentioned... We we have the exact same conversation. We're not we're not talking about this. No, we're, we're, no, we're not talking about this. We've already had conversation. We've already the audience has already been subjected to us talking about the same things over and over again. But now let's we're talk not, about no. How we're, over and over again. we're not talking about how we can't talk about more things. That's not interesting. Right. Here, here's something. Here's something. Uh, here's something to talk about. Um. So one of our earlier play in one of our earlier playthroughs, we talk about nostalgia critic for like two seconds, and then you just go nostalgia critic. He remembers, <laughs> and Mick took that line of thought and ran with it for God knows what reason. And he came up with, "What if the nostalgia critic was the only person who could remember?" He <laughs> <laughs> show me, a, and then he was explaining his evil, and they're like. Mick, that's just the giver. <laughs> just, is that what the giver's about? Yeah, he's the only person who can remember certain things. It's just... like reverse memento. Yeah. All, nobody can generate new memories except for this one man. Oh my god. So it, it, it's just, hey, I'm the Sajuni. I remember it because I have to. <laughs> this is uh, this is not this is not as funny to the audience, yeah. I think. Um, so let's talk about something. I don't like this game. Why would I have to say? Um, it's not a, it's not a bad game. I guess it, I it's not 
bad. It's that I'm playing this now. I don't think it has aged very well. Maybe it is this version where we oh, want to see it aging graphics. well. It's not. It's not. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, wait, so this is the thing. I feel like. Maybe it's because I haven't been the one playing it mostly, but it's not as interesting. We're fighting the same enemies in very similar locations, and we're yeah, we moving are, we are around a lot. Enemies. It's like I feel like it's it's better at the time. It's not something like like over the summer I was playing the original Doom, and that's still really fun to this day. Yeah. The levels are just really well designed, and I feel like the levels here are not as well designed what happened here? as Jesus, the I'm... Doom ones. And it's not like, if I was playing this for the first time when it came out, it would probably be awesome. Yeah. But right now it's like, I don't know. Well, I Halo, know. a big reason why it's still sold today is I've, I've, I, I, I mentioned this before. Uh, oh, again, what, what's going on here? Is this easy mode? There's just drop, you know, stuff to pick up now. I don't know. Um, yeah, this revolutionized the whole oh, you can only carry two weapons at a time thing, uh, which was not really a thing up until this point. Because, like, in, in Doom, you can yes. carry everything in at Do once. In Doom, yeah, you but you, uh, but you that, lose when you you lose them when you die, right? Yeah, if you don't I think save, so. I always just save and reload the last save when I die. Oh. Hey, it's a friend, stay kill back. him. Stay back. You're not turning me into one of those <laughs> Video game cruelty. Mm. Jesus, what happened here? Massacre. Is that what this is This is about that you're um, going to show me? I don't know. What am I going to show you? You're going to show me your Pokemon cards. Fuck! It's my Charizard EX! Whoa! Is this when um, Master Chief turns into a giant abomination like the end of Akira? <laughs> Yeah. Let's speculate about Akira, Graham. No! <laughs> we're not speculating about anything, alright? I'm speculating about what's going to happen in the rest of this game. Okay, tell me. What do you think is going to happen? I think um, that Master Chef is going to meet up with Max Snow and Mickey Baratheon. Characters we create. Ca characters we create. Yeah, they're going to end up in the game. Um... So, so, so there's this there's this academic theory in in like literature studies and like art studies called reader response theory, where the idea is that um, the 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 text is not fully written once it is out there and published. It is fully written once it is read, and everybody is like writing the final draft of it in their heads as they're reading it. Yeah. So we're taking that principle here and saying, Halo isn't finished. Halo finishes when we play it. And we are creating our own meaning in it. And my meaning Whoa. in this game is Max Snow, <laughs> Mickey Baratheon, <laughs> and my new my new OC, Donald Jamie Lannister. <laughs> with one hand. That's, uh, that's my new character. Man, it's a good thing I don't... I'm not the one editing this. I like I like um, making Mick work for me. No, I'm kidding. Mick's great. M Mick has Mick. done gone so much far beyond like Mick has saved this 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 series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which hopefully this is the episode where Mick has something special. Oh, here we go. Open the door. Matt made a chef. I heard something. What? All he hears is the cold steel of his gun in his hand. All he hears is the throbbing of his pulse in his penis. Oh. Oh. Is this an escort mission? No, he's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> if this is an escort mission, we failed already. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of blood. It's the Doom guy. Jenkins. Leroy! Leroy Jenkins. 
Is it Cortana? No. They, it, so what they do is like they have like uh, their helmet records like visual of what they're doing. Wallace Jenkins. Oh, he dead. He dead. He had a wife, daughter, son. <laughs> so what, they're, they're they're listening to like really like like eighties like rock. So obviously this is five hundred years of the future, so it's really old. Like it's like that's like listening to classic like old old classical music. Yeah. Like in Star Trek Beyond when they put on Beastie Boys, like this is classical music. <laughs> I don't like that. I mean, it's a funny joke, but I feel like they wouldn't call it that. Yeah, no, that's, not what, that's not how genre works. I don't even know what they would call it in the future. They'd call it something, but like, that's the other thing is it, it's it's hard to imagine music that doesn't exist yet. Yeah, because everything's it. it music is also very much based on the technology for music that we have. Yeah, like. Beethoven can't have written rock and roll because there there wasn't the ability to I don't know. do something. Um, like that. A little film called Bill and Ted proves proves otherwise. Shut. Shut the fuck up, Graham. How long is this cutscene? Uh. Still got a little bit to go. Pay pay attention. Oh no, I'm just. I've got my, you know, timer, and I'm, I don't want to clog my phone up with notifications. We should start a, um, a Cactus Arcade Discord for all of our 30 subscribers. <laughs> so that's an elite that was, they found dead. Oh, is it, was it like skipping the video now? Yeah. How does it know what parts to skip? Well, I, I assume Master Chief is skipping it. He's like, Master Chief's like, fuck this. <laughs> like, good shit. So, 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 is he like viewing this in his helmet screen? Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's the room we're in. Yeah, I know, Graham. I have, I have basic visual comprehension. I love how it's like, how, what year does this take place in? Uh, 2552. So this is like about 500 years in the future, and they can't get good quality video on the security cameras installed in their helmets. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? What's going on, soldier? <sighs> All right, Graham. What do you think is gonna happen at the end of the Bible? I want to explain what's going to happen about the end of the Bible. I just started reading just it. watch. <laughs> this will happen at the end of the Bible. This is the end of the Bible. Are they invisible? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a Metroid. What the fuck? Where are these all coming from? Uh, did one of them just disappear? He just ran. That's the marine that we killed. Meet the flood. The flood? What's the flood? What is the what this installation was designed around? This installation was designed around the flood. Yep. Okay, and what is what is I don't understand. Yeah, you'll probably you, you'll get there. See, so, okay, this is the other thing. What does what does this game have to offer me with the lore? I don't understand. Like the lore, the lore is very interesting, but this this game barely touches on it. It's just this like generic -y space military sci-fi. I guess I don't know. Of all the the, the genres of sci-fi, space marines aren't my favorite. 
like they're all basically it's just it's just like the movie Aliens. Yeah, over Aliens and over is cool. again. I mean, Aliens. Okay, Aliens is cool, but Aliens is not as cool as it's not as cool as Alien. It's not as cool as Blade Runner. It's not as cool as oh. Looper. It's not as cool as Star Wars or Star Trek or um, what other cool sci-fi settings? Um, Dune. Dune. Dune's really cool. It's not as cool as Wally. <laughs> I, I want to play. Let's let's do a let's play of the Wally video game. I thought you were about to say let's do a let's play of Aliens Colonial Marines. <laughs> no, Alien Colonial Marines is not good. No. Um, we could do a let's play of Alien Isolation. Also, um, another game that should have a sequel but doesn't. Doesn't? Yeah, it has. There's like, does it, didn't it get pretty expensive DLC though? Uh, I think. Um, it's coming to Switch soon. I want to get it when it comes out. I don't know if they've announced oh, the release date. came back. Why does it look different? Yes. It's mutated. That's its next stage. That's, um... That's the queen. It's a different kind. They're infected. What is it? Uh, you, one of those answers, right? Are they infected? Uh-huh. That's it, they're infected. What are they infected with? Yes. A disease? Look at what I'm fighting. They're, dis- they're, they're infected by one of the, the flood. Yeah. So is the flood not one of them? What is, what the, is the flood isn't part of the covenant? Nope. What is the flood? Is that something we did? Nope. It's something this entire installation was designed for. What do you mean? Was it designed to keep out the flood? Was it designed to keep them in? I don't know how this first one going to do. I don't understand, Graham. I don't understand. So, this installation was designed to get rid of the flood. To get rid of the flood. It, it was designed by the Covenant. No. It was designed by us. No. It was designed by Wally <laughs> to get rid of the flood. <laughs> Wally out here making this out of cubes of trash. <laughs> You've mentioned Wally like three times as luck way. Wally is genuinely beautiful. It is. Okay. Wally makes me cry. Halo doesn't make me cry. Halo's a game for pussies. I play real games like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. <laughs> so yeah, so what about it? Yeah, I cry at Captain Tro- T- Toad Treasure <laughs> Treasure Tracker. What about it? Huh? Yeah, I cry at Barbie's Horse Adventure. <laughs> what about it, bitch? <laughs> It's the saddest video game I've ever played. I, yeah, I cry at the Breaking Bad text adventure. Is there? No, there should be. This is just something I came up with in my head. I'm gonna make it now. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a thing. We should make a Cactus Arcade game with our little sprite art, and uh, it's a text-based adventure game where you speculate about Endgame. <laughs> uh, one day. One day. We'll, we'll we'll set up Patreon or Kickstarter. Our Kickstarter for a card game. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons module. Actually? Dungeons and Dragons? I don't know if you guys know this, but Graham, Graham loves Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I do. Graham is the president of Dungeons and Dragons. Yep. Whole company. He's the CEO of Dungeons and Dragons. Move over, Sam Regal and Liam O'Brien. He knows their names. Oh. I didn't even know their names. That's really not the president of Dungeons and Dragons, but it, it's, it's, it's a joke that knows. only, depending on our audience, either a few or we don't, a lot. Would we get. don't have an audience. By the time the video comes out, who knows? Yeah, in two days, in a week, this video comes out a week from today, Graham. In a week, we're just going to suddenly explode overnight, right? <laughs> You think, you think PewDiePie was built in a day? PewDiePie was not built in a day? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? It's like the classic saying, Rome was built in a day. No, Rome was not built in a day. <laughs> I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Watch Evangelion. That's what he says, right? I mean, I have no otherwise. You know that's a McDonald's commercial? What? So... Is he telling people to stop going to McDonald's? No, it's, he's telling people to not do drugs or something like that. 
I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's the bottom of his big man. And it's the but He was a big... Yeah, okay, you know the Oscar-winning film Space Jam, right? Yes. Um, in the movie, there's Oscar. This, funnily enough, people don't know this. Oscar and Emmy Award winning. <laughs> Most people don't know this. Um, um, Space Jam actually got a Nobel Prize for writing. <laughs> It got a. Um, is there no? There's not a Nobel Prize for literature. What am I thinking of? Pul- it's got the. It's got the Pulitzer Prize for drama. Um, fun fun fact. But there's a scene in it where um, uh, Newman from Seinfeld is like, "You gotta lace up your Nikes. And we're gonna get a Big Mac and a thing of Wheaties and a Coke or whatever." And he just lists a bunch of things <laughs> that um, that Michael Jordan like sponsored at the time. <laughs> and you gotta remember. Space Jam is a movie based on a shoe commercial. You know that, right? No. So, 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 the Space Jam is a shoe. You know how, like, Mike, they're Michael Jordan shoes, the Jordans? Yeah. The Space Jam is one of the Jordan shoes from the 90s. Okay. That's and something, the elevator should be coming up, but I'll, I, it's not, so I'm worried it's glitched. You need to just jump. <laughs> um, so... The space, what do I have to lose? the space Jam was one of the shoes, and so, so to advertise the shoe, they made a commercial where Michael Jordan interacts with the Looney Tunes, and then they thought, let's make this into a movie, and that's how they made Space Jam. That's actually true. I'm not making that up. That's real. It's it's a movie. It is literally based on a commercial. All right, and now it is um, the end of. Today's episode of Cactus Arcade. Um, what a ride. What, what a ride. What a big... Can't wait for the fifth Bible, man. Can't can't wait. It's coming. It's coming soon. Oh, Lord, it's coming. It's Avengers Endgame, actually. Did you know that? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>